This is 2017 European Girls Math Olympiad problem number three. And here's a view of this problem. Uh, we have 2017 lines, no three of them uh, concurrent, right? Turbo, which is a snail, uh, starts on a point on one of the lines and uh, he slides through uh, that line. So I don't know, maybe somewhere, say here. Um, well, I don't know, maybe here. Um, and he starts sliding, let's say, in this direction. Well, uh, each time he reaches a junction, he makes a decision. Well, not exactly. So he either makes a left turn or a right turn. So he cannot go straight. In each junction, you either make a left or a right. So we are saying that uh, she will alternate, basically. So suppose that she may, takes a right turn at this junction. And then the next junction is this one. So therefore, she will have to make a left turn and so on. This is the next junction. So she will make a right turn. The next junction, she will make a left turn, next junction, right turn, and so on. Next junction, left turn, junction, right turn, junction, left turn, and so on. Uh, then the question is, um, can there exist a line segment through which she passes in both directions dur during her journey? So, um, yeah, so you can follow her path. Is it possible that on a line, uh, on, on a segment that she previously passed in one direction, is it possible that she will visit that segment again and pass it in the, uh, in the opposite direction? For instance, uh, she already passed through that segment over here. And so is, you, is it possible for her to revisit this segment and this time a pass in the opposite direction? Um, well, uh, so what do we do? <laughs> uh, it's not even obvious. Uh, when you do this uh, algorithm, how you will revisit a segment that you previously passed, right? So for instance, if we continue our game at this point, I think it will be a uh, left, right turn, left turn. Uh, well, actually, right turn. I th it seems we are lucky. Hold on. Um, right turn, left turn. Actually, no. It seems we are again. So then we have a right turn. It's not clear if we will go back, come back to this uh, starting point, right? So to, to, to here, uh, I don't know. Uh, but you might want to uh, start, uh, I mean, work on some, uh, huh? uh, on some examples. And that's one of the things that uh, would bother you at the beginning. So trying to figure out a, a, a configuration of lines where we revisit uh, a line segment that we previously passed, right? And assuming that you guys have already worked on it a little bit, um, well, it turns out it is. And the answer is, so if you haven't worked on it yet, so just please pause the video. But assuming that you guys already worked on it, so a configuration that works is the following. So uh, the star, right? So if you think of the star configuration, so suppose that uh, you already start uh, somewhere. Let me change my color, actually. Suppose that we start at this point and our direction is this direction, for instance. So we meet here at a junction and suppose that uh, we decide to make a right turn. It's up to us. So which way? Huh? But once we make an initial decision, then the next ones will be alternating. So we did a right turn. So which means we will make a left turn here. We hit here. So we'll make a, a right turn, left turn hit here a uh, we did a left so it should be a right turn uh, it's hard to <laughs> visualize a right when you're coming from the opposite direction right um, here at this point we will make we did a right turn so we should make a left turn here we hit here we should make a right turn hit here make a left turn hit here make a right turn and finally hit here make a left turn hey we revisited an edge that we already passed. However, <laughs> that doesn't really satisfy uh, the condition, right? So uh, we revisited that edge, but we're still in the same direction. Now the question is asking, can you do more than this? Can you not only create a shape, but the shape such that you pass through a segment uh, in, in both directions, a segment that you previously visited? Um, in both directions and after working a while uh, if you feel like the answer is negative 
uh, you need to find a proof for that. So why is it negative? If it's positive, then all you do is you find a configuration, a, a, a shape that works. But if the answer is negative, you need to have a compelling uh, argument for it. And then the argument is in many of the combinatorics problems like this, uh, something which is uh, really surprising, right? Uh, would be a coloring argument. Okay, let's use green color because green is nice color. Well, so how are we going to, what are we going to color? Are we going to color the vertices, the edges, or the regions? Well, yeah, that's uh, after you work a bit on it. Uh, it turns out that coloring the regions is the, is, is, is the true idea. So I'll just go ahead and uh, alternatingly color all of these, right? So I'm sure those of you who are fond of your Googling, uh, not Googling, doodling, doodling skills, you love this, right? So just fill in the gaps like this and you know that there's you can do it right so you will never have so you, you should be able to do it like this alternative coloring where no two uh, adjacent regions adjacent in the sense that they have a common edge will have the same color right so something like that i'm enjoying it by the way all right, all right so let's speed it up a little bit i guess when I edit this video, I will just speed things up. Okay, I'm almost done, right? So, well, the good news is, well, not the good news, the strange thing is, <laughs> What are we doing in here? Is this even useful? I don't think it's useful, but I felt like doodling. And let's see how many people will watch me doodling like this. Um, yeah, so let's keep doing it. All right, I love this. And for a minute, don't you think you are forgetting about all the pains, everything, and just doodle. It's amazing. They sell books on Barnes & Noble about this, right? So it's it's fun. Anyhow, so yeah, so this one is probably the same thing over there. All right, so back to our problem. Now it's your turn. What just happening, right? So besides me doodling. All right, there you go. So uh, let's have a look at this situation again. So we started here as we are moving, right? So we are following this track. What is it that, that's ha well, when I say what's happening, is there something which is uh, not changing, let's say? Okay, so I was hesitant to use that word. But is there any invariant, especially with respect to your coloring? Suppose that you are driving on this path and you are teaching your kids about the word prairie. That's one of the jokes that I play with my son. So one day we check the dictionary. The dictionary says prairie is a green field without any trees. <laughs> So whenever we go through a, I mean a green field which looks like a prairie, uh, well my son points to a to a tree far away in a distance and he says, hey, that's not a, a prairie. <laughs> well, son, it's like a prairie. Look, it's a big green field. Well, but there's a there's a tree over there. So he might have the <laughs> the logic of a mathematician after all. But anyhow, if you are driving along this road, so so you are inside this bug car. You're driving. What do you observe? Or your parents are driving. Okay, so assume you are in the back seat, feeling super bored. There's something fishy going on. And you're probably going to ask your parents about it. What is it that's fishy going on? <laughs> There's something about the prairie, right? If you are on the, okay, you are in the back seat of the car, you realize as you guys drive on this direction, the prairie is on which side? <laughs> of the road well it's on the right side of the road right you've made this turn over here in this junction and guess what where is the prairie it's on the right side <laughs> so your dad did this junction over here or your mom who is driving the car where is the prairie hey it's still on my right regardless of the turn you make a right turn or left turn. in fact this is totally irrelevant so this is just a diversion alternating or irrespective of how she makes the turn the prairie will always be on the same side 
<laughs> so it will always be on the right side. So if the prairie will always be on the right side, how in the world are you going to revisit an edge, right? So if we are visiting this edge at all during this process, where it will be? So you will go it in this direction, right? So the prairie will remain on the right side. Does that make sense? There is no way that we will come back to this road and in the other direction where the prairie will be on the left side, right? Because, because the way you see the prairie always appearing on the right side is, is an invariant, right? So it's a property of this coloring that we just did. And that's it. This solves this problem. Very troll. Very nice problem, actually. I enjoyed it a lot. So coloring is one of the... Um, techniques that you should keep in mind for uh, Olympiad combo problems. Hope to see you guys in our next lecture.